guys. Okay, so today, this is my sister, as you all know, we decided to film um, us eating some food. Because we were eating food anyway, and we were like, yeah. why don't we film that? So do you want to say what you got first? Tell um, the people. I've got bubble tea, passion fruit with mango pearls. Mm -hmm. And strawberry so pearls what? I think they've got it wrong. That's I think not they strawberry put pearls. pineapple in or something. Some vegetable spring rolls and then some veggie noodle type That looks things. so good, look. It's like all pretty, and I'm about to out. throw it onto yeah, the floor. Yeah, no, that's not. Oh, that's not crying. Oh, it's so freaking funny. <laughs> I've got sweet potato fries from Smash Burger. They're like smash fries, which means they're like covered in garlic and stuff and deliciousness. Uh, these are mac and cheese bites. I'm so sorry. I want to cry for her. She's vegan. This is a bacon cheeseburger with pickles and cheese and just deliciousness. Can you see this? Can you see this? Oh, take the top off. Take the top Has off. Has it got? Has it got ketchup in it? Oh, you, of course you... Oh, wow. Right and down your nose. Um, <laughs> hello. And this is a banana iced coffee. That is going to be gross. I'm so excited. I've not had this drink before. I've had an iced coffee, but not a banana one. I'm so ready. Mm. The taste of straws. Yeah. Yours is smaller because you don't have any pearls in it. It doesn't taste of banana. <laughs> no, I hate coffee oh, anyway. Vegan. And it's milk. It's good. It's not great. I don't know where to put it. Uh, just next to your food. Next to my food. Uh, should yeah. we eat? <gasps> so, we have some topics to talk about. And we're just going to eat like um, absolute tramps, basically. This is the plan. Shut up. <laughs> I am. I don't know about you. Also, sorry, I'm just going to... The elephant in the room. I'm going to cough a lot. And my voice is funny. Because I've been, real Ill. I've been really ill. So, yeah. yeah. She had a little trip to the hospital for over a week and a bit, didn't you? Yeah. She decided to knock ten years off everyone's life. So, thanks for that, mate. Sorry. Oh, she was, it wasn't... It, it was terrible, but... The hospital was amazing, yeah. so if you ever ill, go to yeah, Brighton Hospital. Yeah, shout out to Brighton Hospital. They were okay, absolutely hell. incredible. Every single person yeah. I spoke to, every single nurse and doctor. And so I had, nice. at one point, don't want to go into it too much, but at one point <laughs> I had 24-hour care, and every single nurse I had, like literally watching me, was amazing. So That was so lovely. Not that anyone from there is going to see it all. Maybe, <gasps> maybe they will, but you thank you very much. Yeah, yeah it, it was incredible. I still actually need to send them like a thank you card or something. Yeah, I think we should go back in. <laughs> No, maybe you won't want to go back in. No, maybe I don't. <laughs> I'll go back in. I'll give it up. But yeah. But no, it's really good, but yeah, really bad at the same time. But anyways, no on to our talking topics. Oh yeah. So Go on then. Megan made me write like a little list. Mm -hmm. So what are we talking about today? I wrote some like gist of stuff, but mm -hmm. I thought it'd be fun to talk about sort of like conspiracy-esque things and... Um, We'll Who's probably in... go off on a tangent as we well. We really will. That's we like what happens. Start talking about children and stuff or mm. bears. I don't know. I just have to try one of these first. This is the mac and cheese bite thingy. You ready for this? Oh, oh it's gooey in there. Like oh, all... man, that looks really good. Goopy. Oh, oh I, have to make, 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 I can make my own. I should make my own. Oh. Is that good? Mmm. I remember ages ago I made some of these but in like um, cupcake cases. I made mm. mac and cheese and then put it into that and put like grilled cheese, like put cheese on top and grilled it. Mm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'm genuinely sad you can't try it. Mm. Well, I'm very happy so. And yeah, I put ketchup on everything. Mm. Everything. She even puts ketchup on like a roast dinner. Uh uh. No. Really? Not on a roast. Not on an Indian takeaway. I think it's everything else. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's necessary. But yeah, so I've got like a list of conspiracy things that I'm interested to see what make things because I think we quit, we think similarly. Yeah. But we'll soon see. Not the same. Go on then. Should we kick it off? Yeah. Let me take a slug of my coffee and I'm ready to go. Yep. It's really not banana. And maybe it is a little bit. We should actually, we should talk about the title of this video first. Are you going to call it a mukbang? And how do you say that word? Mukbang, mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang. Muk. It's spelled M U K, isn't it? Muk. So it's mukbang. I don't like the sound of it, I don't know why. That's mukbang. Yeah. How do you say it? Mukbang sounds English. Mukbang, yeah. Mukbang but sounds American. Majority of people that I watch doing mukbangs are American. That's true. Like, all the ones I watch are American. I don't think I've ever watched an English, English person person <gasps> do it. Are we making it a thing? No. There's probably loads of English people, but we don't watch them. Oh, yeah. Don't know. Probably, probably like millions upon millions of them. Your favourite mukbanger. If you like these sorts of videos, then let us know. And then we'll eat more food, you know? Yeah, it's I a tough life. I can do that. I can do that. You think we're good to go? 
Yeah, I can't walk very far at the moment, but I can I can eat food, that's fine. We have to go out earlier. Poor Mega Lex, she had to like walk, I'm saying like minor speed. And then she got out of breath anyway. <laughs> the lung capacity of a toddler at the moment. Mm. <gasps> Do you want to try a fry? I don't like sweet potato fries. I think you'll like them. Um, are they fried in animal fat? They're delicious, but I don't know. Oh. If we look on the it's website, just a fry with thing. a thing, isn't it? It's just Let's a fry with a thing. It's, it's got rosemary, garlic, salt. Oh, okay. I don't like sweet potato. <laughs> Good face. Ah, <laughs> no, I don't like it. Right, that's way better than a regular sweet potato fry. Mm. I wouldn't spend my time eating that. It's so good, and there's so many. Mm. It's like the whole. Oh, I dropped some. I'm not talking about it's it. It's like a whole. <gasps> <laughs> We're putting it down. We're putting it down right yeah. now. All I so <laughs> There's a lot in there. You could tell how much from how much I dropped. Yeah, that's how it works. Right? Okay. Let's do the first. Um, we're, both, we're both like, what's on the list? Like anyone else have to have like a laptop or a tablet like here, something fancy. We're like, what's on that little piece of piece paper? Of paper. <laughs> Let's do it 90 style. What have we got? <clears throat> Walking on the moon. Right. Mm -hmm. So the thing about this is, so yep. people walked on the moon. You know that happened. The fly, <laughs> the moonwalk, everything was delicious. Yeah. Is it real? Um, the ultimate question of life. There's a problem with the shadows and the problem with the dust falling on the moon when they walk. And, and the, the problem with the fact that flag waves and they're supposed to be like no, no atmosphere, atmosphere in space. Um, yeah, I think they did. You think they did go? Yeah, I think they did. But there's that thing as well. Why? I don't... What do they have to... Oh, no, because they wanted to be the first, first Well, they people. technically were. Yeah. They wanted to be the first people on the moon. Weren't the Russians the first on the moon? Mm. People sent... Things up to the moon, but not the people. But not people, to not the, moon. the human being itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. So they wanted to do it first. So mm -hmm. did they lie to rush it to be first? Um. Oh God. I'm sure if it was fake, mm -hmm. it would have come out properly by now. It's been a long, long time, wasn't it? The 60s. Oh, I don't know. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm sure that if it was fake, that. that it would have come out by now. I don't know. Can you? I don't know, but. I watch so many of these conspiracy theories videos, we both right? watch a lot, a lot of them. <clears throat> and if you believe what's in the videos, then maybe it was all fake and the government and people high up do cover it. Pardon me. They have <gasps> covered it up for like years and years and whatever. Because some conspiracy theories are really scary. Do you want pickle? No. It's touched a burger. Uh, so? <coughs> it's a vegetable. <coughs> <coughs> it's touched it's like a, a cow. McDonald. And a, a pig. And a pig. And cheese. <laughs> yeah. I feel like your coffee because you bought it so bad. No. That you're just like, oh my god, I need it. No, I'm going Give to me the pickle, give me the I'm juicy, going. meaty pickle. Oh, that sounds wrong. But, yeah, no, so, if you believe in some conspiracy theories, as in, um, the government and the police and the, everyone are, like, in on it. Oh, like a group of conspiracy, yeah, exactly. so, like the whole of the yeah, US. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Should we be saying this? I don't know. No, I'm not in America. I live in England. Come get me, Trump. Come get me. Oh, don't, don't say that. Scary. I'm, I'm sorry, Trump. I don't want him. I'm sure you're a dog. lovely man, but you're just not for me. Don't call him a lovely man. He's I not. Mean, I said I'm sure you might be. He's like, not. The thing about the moon thing is the fact that they said they brought moon rocks like back to Earth. First off, which isn't really their property. You can't just take it. It's yeah, like when you who, go to the beach. Yeah, but and whose they say property not to take is a rock. it? Who owns the moon? <laughs> You've just blown my mind. Who owns the moon? I don't know. Can you get your phone? Google that! How would the first thing comes up? Um, Dennis Hope. He doesn't own the moon. Don't, that's like when, um, for our mum and dad's anniversary, they wouldn't tell me what they wanted for their present. Oh, yeah. So I bought them a plot of land on the moon. And I know it was a jip, and I know it's not real, but it was a great gift. Oh, he no. Own it. He does. Dennis. Dennis, Dennis Hope. <laughs> An Dennis. American <laughs> entrepreneur. He sells the extraterrestrial real estate. He sounds like a twat. Yeah, he sells bits you of can't moon. Own so moon. you possibly paid him for a bit of moon. Oh, God. what's his name? Um, oh, Dennis Hope. Dennis Hope. Um, oh my God. That's mad. Extraterrestrial real estate refers to claims of land ownership on other planets or natural satellites. Or, so is that all planets or he owns or just space? The moon? 
Who is this guy? Can you look up him on like Wikipedia and be like, well, who's this? Why is he owning? What? Own the moon? My problem is, if you go down to Brighton Beach and you take a pebble, they say don't take a pebble because if everyone took a pebble, there'd be no beach. So Correct. why can you go to the moon and just take moon stuff? And then people said it weren't really moon stuff, and they said it was fake. And there was a famous guy who had a piece of the famous moon. I don't know who it was. A piece of the, the famous moon. The piece of the famous moon, and the famous man had a piece of the famous moon. And they sold it to someone, and something happened. And they also left things on the moon that they said um, that they left as proof that they were there. Why don't we just go check out if they're still there with the satellites? Then done. We know the answer, surely. Yeah, isn't the flag still there? It looks really dirty. <laughs> Sorry. Just um, the flag. I weirdly always look for the flag on the moon when I look at the moon. Like, I'm like, where's that tiny flag at? Like, for some reason, I think... You know, you, you won't be able to see it. I know, but it's nice to look. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I saw it. There it was. There it went in the atmosphere, not flailing. But, um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough about that. Like, I've never really looked up proper conspiracy theories mm. to do with the moon landing, so I don't really know enough about it, but mm. I think it happened... No. I think I want to believe I don't that. think I'm really bothered, to be honest with you. I can tell. I'll be honest with you. I like the idea of us, like, connecting with another place. But I don't like the idea of people just taking bits. Like, it's, it's like if you go to a museum. Don't take it. Like, go to the gift shop, but don't take it. Hmm? You can't take, like a, like, a dinosaur bone, can you? No. It's a piece of history. Yeah, so why are they taking bits of the moon? Hmm. And they sold it for, like, cabillions of dollars. Proper cabillions. Because that's a word. Cabillions. Yeah. It comes after trillions. It doesn't. Cabillions. <laughs> it's like, um, wasn't a Google, like a measurement or something on that? Remember um, no. when um, someone um, cheated on who wants to be a millionaire and the answer was a Google or something? Oh, I do know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Was it a Google? Um, I don't remember. Or a Kablugo or something? No, something like that, yeah. Or Kablabel. I'm making up words. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think I'm going to check these out. So, have we come to the conclusion that did you think it happened? I mean, you don't even know, do you? To be honest, no, I'll be looking for the flag all this time. <laughs> I don't know. I never, I'm like, I believed it until I knew there was a conspiracy. So let's just say I believe it. Okay, yeah. Because it wasn't someone else like planting the seed of doubt in my head. Before yeah. that, I was like, wow, someone's been to the moon. Yeah, but that's all conspiracy theories are. People planting seeds of doubt in your head after the internet was invented. Oh, it's so easily done for me though, isn't it? Because I believe yeah. in it. Yeah, she does. I'm really dumb. She does. Like, I wish I was smarter, but I think I just like to believe things. Like, oh, that's nice. Someone's went to the moon. That's nice that they're venturing out, no? Mm. And the other oh. thing was that they, the spirit, like, the whole conspiracy went so far. The man who made the Space Odyssey films, like the director, yeah. they said he directed the moon landing. Like, it was so fake. They got this guy in from the Space Odyssey movie and said, you did a really good job on that film. How's about we like do a moon landing thing? He was like, okay. And they gave him like millions of cabillions. And then he like directed the moon landing. So, so what did he say about that? I don't know. We should Google that too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was quite funny because he just directed a film. But the fact that they were like in the conspiracy world, people were like, let's pretend. Well, I don't know, it might be true. <gasps> I'm so confused. <laughs> now I'm overthinking. Yeah, you are. My head is going to explode. Yeah. But I am going to have another one of these. While I have a breakdown <laughs> yeah. over the moon. Mm. Doesn't bother me whether it happened or not. You can see the pasta in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks good. Smell it. Mmm. It smells like dick house. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. I was gonna move, but I haven't already. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I love vegetarians and all that, but it's just not for me. I'll happily bake you something that's vegan. One day, everyone will have to be vegetarian. Fine. Soon. Yep. David, no. David Attenborough says. Oh, David's always right. He is always right. Why are we going to have to be vegan? Vegetarian. Maybe not vegan. Vegetarian. Why? Um, because the <clears throat> meat industry is essentially destroying the environment and the world around us. Can they not be nicer? No. It's the amount of no. water. Basically, the amount of water and feed that goes into basically growing a cow growing a cow yeah and the amount of methane and gas that they produce sorry I love she's showing you why you're showing a dead animal jesus i'm so sorry mm, look at that burger guys look at the cheese though <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> sorry carry on while we not love me <laughs> can't take your massive bite <laughs> <laughs> oh don't make me laugh mm. but anyway 
that's another story mm, for another cool. day. No, carry on. So is it that it's going to run out? No, no, no. It takes. A... It basically takes so many hundreds and thousands of gallons of water to raise one cow. When you could use that amount of water to produce so many crops, and the amount of food that a cow eats it's could be fed up. to a human it doesn't being. Doesn't make sense to balance out. Yeah. You know what's worse? Here we go. <laughs> what have I done? About you. Not so much about you. No. Mm-hmm. Well, eating meat. People like you. Because I'm educated. So my wife and my sister and the rest of my family. All meat eaters. There's not even another vegetarian, is there? Auntie Chris. No, she eats fish because oh. she's a pescatarian. Ah, oh, poop. Mm. And she only doesn't eat meat because she doesn't like the fat and the taste of it. Don't but know there. it's delicious. Anyway, oh, it's horrendous. Um, yeah, it's the fact that you're all quite well educated. I don't know if I'm well educated. Well. Okay. I thought we should do like educated. a test, like a dumb test, to see if I'm actually educated. You are. But I think. Aw, mm. thanks, you're educated too. <laughs> <laughs> well, nothing to say. Mm. I might change my mind. I might wake up tomorrow and decide I'm, I'm a vegan, you know. Yeah, it's not going to happen, I'm sorry. We never know. Were you a vegetarian for a while? I was a vegetarian for five years, because I forgot I was doing it. It's yeah. very different from like, really good... Was... Oh, your light. <laughs> Well, now the light's gone off. We didn't take any pictures at the start. I hadn't heard this one before, and um, yeah. it made me laugh a lot. <clears throat> so you know, like, flat earthers? Yeah. People that think that earth is actually flat and not a sphere. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Apologies, but there's scientific proof to show that it's a sphere, mate. Mm-hmm. Simple as. The next thing is hollow earthers. People think the earth is hollow. So. And wouldn't there be loads of sinkholes? There are loads of sinkholes in America. Think about all those sinkholes. When you just see a car, just go like, vroom, it's gone. Forever. Um, why do they think it's hollow? They've just decided that there's so much space inside that it must be being used to something. And they think, like, um, the Nazis we... are in there and, are like, you di- dinosaurs and, like, are all the things. No, they genuinely think that everyone's inside the earth. Like, there's just all this wait, space. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. They think that's where Hitler on. has gone, to the inside. He's still alive. And the dinosaurs are still alive. In inside, there. like a Polly Pocket. Oh, I loved Polly like, Pockets. You open up the earth like this. Chink. Mm-hmm. And inside you've got Hitler and the dinosaurs. Are you joking? Well, hopefully a and T-Rex will have absolutely mauled him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they think that the North and the South Pole are like portals to get in. So you like go there, go shoop, and then you're like in the middle of the earth. Are you joking? I'd never heard it before. I've never ever heard of this. I mean, really? it doesn't bother me if someone wants to believe it. As long as they don't like force their beliefs on me. Well, they're a bit stupid if they believe it. Well, I just think it's weird because... the only We all thing... know what the earth is made up of. Mm, magma. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> these things are just amazing. I'm sorry. If you ever decide not to be vegan, I'm going to yeah, buy you like yeah. a bucket of these. Okay. Um, what's I going to say? The, here's, here's the thing. Here's mm. the thing. Like, I, I don't know if I believe it or not because of this. No. <laughs> Hold on. What? Why are you even giving it the time of day? This is my reasoning. <clears throat> oh my so, say that the earth is hollow in the middle, but there's still like a good few metres of like... A few metres, it would be miles. That's true actually, but yeah, imagine, still imagine. So imagine like there's a few layers of like the normal stuff like sedimentary and uh, rudimentary or... <laughs> 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 I've forgotten the name of all the layers of the earth. I know there's magma somewhere there and earth crust, crusty earth, well, you we're know. We're talking about her being smart earlier. <laughs> I well told educated. you I'm not. I'm, I'm not smart. So you've got all these layers of stuff, which right. could still technically exist, but smack dab in the middle, mm-hmm. there's Hitler's little living room, you know? It could be, it still could be like... <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. That's the stupidest thing that's ever come out of your mouth. <laughs> I know, but they've got it in my mind. Like, before I read this, this I read this five minutes ago, and in my mind I'm like, oh, it's true. <laughs> 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 I don't think it is. But I'm just saying, like, you know when they drill for oil and stuff? That yeah. still technically could happen, but there could be, like, a bit of a hollow bit in the middle that's not actually as hot as they think. And how did Hitler and the dinosaurs get Oh, I don't believe that. That was a joke. I'm joking. Hitler is dead. I'm, I'm hoping. But, but these dead. people believe that. Mm. So the peop- so, what it? so these people that believe it think that the dinosaurs, one by one, went up to the North Pole <laughs> and was like, whoop, into a little hole. <laughs> down a little way, down this pole. No. <laughs> down a little hill to skelter oh, to totally the centre of the earth where it's... Hollow. Would you ever go on a trip to the North Pole, just in general? I don't, I don't think you can. Can you? You just know you can't just go on like Virgin or BA <laughs> the North Pole. and or EasyJet. 
and put in the North Pole. Oh I my god, know. I would love to go She's somewhere. She's been to like Iceland. That. Oh my god, Iceland. You did. That was a very, very long time ago. That was eleven years ago. Oh my god. Yeah, I was eighteen when I went. Mm. I'm old. Um, was quite old. But that was incredible. That was amazing. Imagine if you went to the North Pole. <laughs> just say. Yeah. And I saw the entrance of the Helter Skelter. Yeah. What would you do? I'd take loads of pictures of it for sure. Do you go in it? Faux show. No, because I, how would I get back? You wouldn't. Well, no. I don't want to be down there with the dinosaurs. Oh, I'd be so curious. It's not real. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm having this conversation. It's ridiculous. <laughs> not real. 100%. Big load of crap. Like, I can kind of understand the flat earth people. Mm -hmm. Like, and some of their weird some thinking. Of their and yeah. So I'm kind of like, okay, just as long as you, you know, keep that within yourself. So like it's a little weird. people. Yeah. yeah. Believe what you want to believe. But, hollow earth, no. That is complete garbage. I might go online and try and do some research on it and see if I can find anything that's a bit more substantial, but that is a big load of poop right there. <laughs> Next. <laughs> I'm choking on a pickle. <laughs> it's not code. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Oh, I like this. Go on. So, Meghan Markle, right? She's hot. Got married to, what's his face? Harry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a shame I was married already. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's the one and only thing. Okay, I'm a really good bird there. Mm -hmm. So they got married. Yep. Now that she's pregnant, everything's lovely. I know, I'm so happy for that. I'm well right. excited. Very sweet. But a video came out of them in an audience somewhere. Uh, what, sitting watching something? Okay. And they looked like robotic. And the eyes didn't move, so they were looking around, but their eyes were like dead straight. Look it up. Look it up. I'm about to burst the bubble, but look at that. Everyone was like, what's going on with her? Like, they, they look weird. They look... It looked fake. Maybe they smoked a joint or something before they went. Yeah, the royals are so notorious for getting high. Prince Harry. Oh, do they? Prince Harry dressed as a bloody Nazi at a flipping birthday <laughs> party or something. He'd do anything. They allowed to get high. <clears throat> no, probably not allowed to. It's illegal. In this country. Oh yeah. But I wouldn't put it <laughs> you so Oh my god. <laughs> my I wouldn't man. put it past Prince Harry that he smoked a joint when he was in college or something. So people started saying that Meghan Markle was a robot. Because she's just too perfect. She's pretty, she's nice, the Queen's like, hey, we BFFs now and all this. Oh I've got a really bad chain a pain in my side. It's not good. Is that your appendix up here? No. Okay. Your appendix is down here. <laughs> Oh, it's not my appendix then. That's good. No, uh, lungs or heart. She's great. No, I'm fine. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. a rumour came out that she was an actual robot. I was going to say human robot, but that's not a thing. It went round. Can we show you the video now? Yeah. Put in Meghan Markle robot. Meghan. She spells her name funny. Might I say, that's not how I spell my name. <laughs> So the, one of the nurses at the hospital spoke my name as in Meghan Markle, she just met her. Hmm? Yeah. Well, they came down, while I was in hospital, Harry and Meghan came down to Sussex. And oh. one of my nurses actually shook Harry's hand and when they like, came, a, came a long... Meghan... I can't wait for you to see this, I'm so excited. <laughs> robot face. Jeez Louise. It's there! Mm -hmm. This one, press it. Alright. The person's voiceover is great. Right? Yeah. Look at her face. That has been doctored. Mm -mm. That has so been... Mm -mm. It hasn't been doctored. I can explain it though. Well, has someone, someone's taken her face from like... Someone's put... Go on. Explain I want to hear more theories. I, I think someone just photoshopped it, that's all. The camera went to sleep. It went to been sleep. talking too long. I don't know what we're talking about. Meghan Markle being Meghan a robot. Meghan Markle being a robot. Butch. So it turns out it was cat. a stunt. Well, Madame Madame Tussauds, Tussauds. and um, they just I don't oh, know if they um, did it deliberately to make people think she was a robot or it was just a stunt to make people want to come and it's really cool mask though visit them it's weird it's cool though it looks just like her it scared me a little bit to be honest with you mm. Mm. But I feel sorry for them why? like royals I feel sorry for them it's a lot of pressure I couldn't do it imagine if I was royal I couldn't do this mm. I could just eat smash smash burger I don't even know what I'm eating it's yep. delicious though <laughs> Mm. Mm. Actually, funny. I was having a conversation with Mum yesterday. Yeah. Our Mum. 
Just say Why that. did you have to specify that? Like she's not I don't my know. mom. Don't know. Adopted mom. Just for, hashtag yeah. adopted. I'm not adopted. No. I don't. We found you. Anyways, <laughs> um, said to mum yesterday. I feel really, really sorry for Harry and Meghan mm. because at that who just got married, Eugene Eugenie. or whatever, <clears throat> she just got married, and I didn't watch it or anything, but I did see immediately. Rather than talking about her and the fact she's getting married in this wonderful celebration, um, they were talking about Meghan's coat being shapeless and the fact she was pregnant. But they took away Harry and Meghan announcing it. And I hate how the media always Aww. do it. And I know they're in the public eye. And I know that people see them all the time. They do it themselves. It happens with famous people all the time. Constant speculation about a their lives. Game. And it's a guessing game. And if she wasn't pregnant, they would have been like, oh, she's put on a bit of weight because she's wearing a shapeless coat. And it was either she'd put on weight and she was comfortable. Maybe she just had like a heavy Friday night in with the pizza, or, you know? We all do that. Yeah. <laughs> or she's pregnant and they were like, oh, she's pregnant. And then literally a day later they came out and said she was pregnant. Take away that joy of the giving magic. the news. Yeah, exactly. So that's their choice, though. To be famous is, it comes at a cost. Well, royalty don't really have a choice. They're born into it. Harry was like, he was born into it. Mm. God. Can mm. I try that? What is that? Um. It's nearly all gone. Uh, passion fruit tea with mango pearls. Mm. I don't want any pearls. Oh, you're probably gonna get some because there's not much juice in there. Mm. Anywho, I'm impressed by this though. Mm -hmm. So good. Okay, what was the next one? So, Mega Markle, not a robot. That's a load of rubbish. Mm -hmm. She's too hot to be a robot. <laughs> robots could be hot, Megan. Don't discriminate. Yeah, it's hot don't. robots. Oh, have you seen them? Mm. Have you seen them like Ugh. sex robots and stuff? Mm -hmm. uh, there's like documentaries about people that haven't. They they look. Oh, I'm covering my God, it makes, literally oh. makes me want to cry and throw up at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> How lonely do you have to be? It makes me sad to buy Poor buggers. a robot girlfriend. It's a documentary, right? It's weird. Um, I saw this documentary where this man he like gets her out of bed. He like dresses her. They like have dinner together. He makes her a plate of food, even though she don't eat it. It she's makes a robot. me sad more than anything. It does make me sad. It makes me think that maybe someone should go and talk to these people. I think that if they bought one, they should be put on like a forum with other people that bought one, and they can make friends. Oh, in the hope that maybe they'd get together. Yeah. Maybe Every single got. documentary, it's a man. I've never no, seen. A do I've you never, never know. I've never seen. Women a documentary. get kinky too. You don't. You just don't know. There must be millions I've of women. I've not seen that a documentary with a woman. Never seen. And I. A lot of That's because they keep it on the down low more. <laughs> Doesn't mean it's not happening. Mm. Mm. Anyway, how do we even get onto this conversation? <laughs> Told you it's going to go off on a tangent. A terrible, terrible tangent. Because you said that robots can't be sexy. Anyways, on. next subject because this just got weird. <laughs> <laughs> With our professional setup. The Beatles, right? The band. Mm hmm. No. We all live in a yellow submarine. That was mm -hmm. time. There's a rumour, or well, conspiracy theory going around, that there were not ever just four Beatles. They were on constant rotation with new people. So it's not like one of them got switched out. All of them. All of these buggers were just like constantly new people. Well, they do have auditions for people that look like Paul McCartney or auditions that look like Ringo Starr. They look the same the whole time. I mean, they grew beards and stuff and then shaved them off and whatnot. But they, you can tell they're the same people. I don't know. What they all look the same. As in, they look the same, like, Ringo Starr doesn't change. He's always ugly Ringo Starr. Aw, oh, poor Ringo. <laughs> oh, you're so mean. Bless him. What if he's watching, Megan? What if Ringo Starr's watching this? Is he dead? <gasps> no! <gasps> Get out. Two of them are. McCartney's not. Mm -hmm. I know that much. I'm not keen on him. What? I know Why? everyone loves him up. I just, I don't know. He's a great crazy. vegetarian man. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> a great vegetarian man. Might even be vegan, don't I? The, the other one is that Paul McCartney died in a car accident in like the 60s and was replaced because they said he got more quiet and he was reserved and he looked slightly different and things were changing. And because he was in a terrible car accident? Was he in a car accident? Oh, was he in a car accident? <laughs> you just said he was in a car accident and they I don't know, him. no, I don't know if he was like, I don't know if it was an actual crash. Oh. <gasps> Maybe he was in an actual car accident, and that's why he was a bit more reserved and a bit more quiet because his life just flashed before his eyes. Mm. Put your goat drinking milk. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> What's that in? The, the Simpsons. Simpsons. Like a personal joke. There's an episode of The Simpsons when Homer says his whole life flashed before his eyes. It's just a picture of a baby goat drinking milk. That's <laughs> yeah, funny. <laughs> what are we talking about? 
the Beatles. Um, no, nah, that's complete rubbish. Actually, someone I know is obsessed with the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Harry. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask him what he thinks about this. That's complete. I'm curious. I should send him a. I'll send him a message later and find out what he thinks about it. Because he really loved up the Beatles. So I bet he if anything, really if anything, no, he probably doesn't. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> if anything was a bit weird, he'd know. I think that's complete garbage. Come on. The other reason is that the music changed so much in patches when they went like the, the stage when they were all high. It was like mm. very different music from when they first started in the boy like boy bandy and popish. Mm. So people said maybe it changed because he changed. Well, and all of them changed mm. from what you're saying. Nah, that's garbage. <laughs> Who thinks of these things? Who thinks of these conspiracy theories? I ain't got enough time in my day to be sitting there thinking about the Beatles swapping places mm. with people. What would you do if I came in one day and I was like dressed as Paul McCartney? <laughs> I would laugh. I'd die laughing. That'd be amazing. <laughs> I was Paul McCartney do... from what era? Oh, I want to be Sergeant Pepper. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With the little hair. <coughs> oh my oh. god, I've got to get a costume. <coughs> okay, no, next conspiracy theory. Do you even have anything else on your little paper? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh god. This is a theory. Here we go. That Yetis, Bigfoot. What's the other one? Not Casablanca. <laughs> <laughs> It's a place, you idiot. I know, but it's just not the word. Um, oh, not a Bigfoot Yeti. But scream to me, guys. It's not Casablanca, but it's similar. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? Yeti, Bigfoot, Sasquatch. <laughs> I'm eating and I'm choking. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, there's something wrong with you. That's all the same word for the same yeah, thing, the sort yeah, of yeah. unidentified thing in the forest that has a big old footprint and yeah. no one ever really gets proper proof of it. There's like a few photos but no one knows if they're real mm. and it could have been a big bear. The conspiracy goes that yetis are aliens. I'm dropping it. I've dropped it. Mug drop. <laughs> I don't want to waste it but... That's a big load of... You've come with... Rub okay, next time we do one of these conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. I'm going to properly find a good yeah, list no, 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 of good <laughs> conspiracy theories that could actually be true Hello. and mind you know I'm not going to say that Hello. a yeti is an alien you want to be mind fudged do you stop reading my details yeah I'm going to pretend I know things <laughs> okay what, what about this <laughs> you can't remember oh so <laughs> here we go yeah they basically think so because they haven't caught one or got proof of it, they think it's an alien who is then like shape-shifting or going into their own dimension to get away from us. Or it doesn't exist and it's just a bear. Like Nessie. Yeah, like Loch Ness. <laughs> Although our great-grandmother used to think that Loch Ness <laughs> was real. <laughs> she saw it. <laughs> but then <laughs> this was when she was like 96 years old. And she, no, she saw him. <laughs> she believed she in Loch Ness. She used to talk about him a lot. That was really funny. But anyway, no, yeah, he's no, not real. Rubbish. Garbage. What do you think? Yeah. Are you joking? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think yetis are real? <laughs> to be honest, it's like a double mind fudge because it's like, yeah, yetis are aliens or are yetis yetis? <gasps> you know? No, I think it's not why like... I asked you. <laughs> I asked you if you thought yetis were real <laughs> or Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Do you think that's a real thing? Or Casablanca. Yeah. I dropped food everywhere. So Is that a real thing? I don't know, Megan. Are you just... Why do you watch that? <laughs> Why are nearly 2,000 people subscribed There are more photos her? of him. <laughs> They're bears. <laughs> do you know how big bears can be? No, I've never met one. Bears can stand. Like, I'm thinking what you're doing. I'm thinking a bear. No, so it's a red crop top. see big footprints in the snow. No, because it wasn't it's claws, though. What if it was like big print. old toes? Didn't factor in the big old toes, did you? But you've been looking full now. Are these pictures? <laughs> I've not ever seen any proof. The problem with like life. Hold is... on. So because you haven't seen any proof that it's real, you think it's real. I've not seen proof that it's not real either, have I? <laughs> I'm like. So you're gonna go going into in the, the life at, like that? What do you mean going into? It's been 27 years of a mess, really. Let's be honest. <laughs> so if you don't have proof that it do or doesn't, that it does or does not <laughs> do exist. Doesn't. Shut up. That it does or does not exist, then you're just gonna think it's to probably it. real. <laughs> I don't want to have a closed mind. 
Is, how that you, would be rude. A closed mind. And if the aliens mind. turn up one day and they're like, nah, you didn't believe that we were real, you could not get on this spacecraft. I'd be really upset. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe. And then, like, a Yeti got off a plane or <laughs> a helicopter, I don't know what. And then he, like, shape shifts into an alien. And I'm like, yes! This isn't the Spice Girls movie. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Where they go into the forest <laughs> and there are aliens. They had a party with them. Yeah, that's not real. <laughs> Wow, we've all learned oh, something today, haven't we? Have we? <laughs> we've learned that you believe anything. There's one more. Oh, she's a quicken. Christ, go on. So, Mary Kate and Ashley, the Olsen twins. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of problems. Well, you say they have a lot of problems, but is it they? Some people think there's only one Olsen girl. Not a twin, just one, and then they're moving really quick. You know, again, I'm not met. really quick. I don't know, like, one's like, hi, my name's Ashley, and then they run to the other side, hi, my name's Mary Kate, you know? Was it Mary Kate and Ashley? Yeah, Mary Kate and Ashley. <laughs> um, they're not Dash from The Incredibles. <laughs> they can't run. The Flash. Yeah, no, they can't. No, there's two of them. That's the. Well, that I, have you that. met the Olsen twins? No. I can tell them apart. Oh, there's a lot of mirrors. Like a magician show. I don't think I need to say anything else. Because I'm right. I feel ill, but I'm still eating. This is terrible. I've nearly finished, no, but I'm still a bit no, hungry. Yeah, no, what? <laughs> You're hungry still. You want these? There's two left. Well, there are interesting conspiracy theories. Mmm. You know something? Hello. Mm. That's all the conspiracy theories you have. Well, okay, next time we do one of these, I'm going to look up the conspiracy theories. Or topics of conversation. All right then, and then I want you guys to vote. Oh, which who's one's better? better? Oh, game on. Yes. Oh my god, no! You know what we should have talked about? The. Oh my god, I've forgotten his name. Shane Dawson. Yes. How do I know what you're thinking? Dawson. Yeah. The Shane Dawson, <gasps> Jake Paul thing. Mind blowing. Look, she saved this. <clears throat> oh, okay. We should do another video. This is how we should. I feel like I need more food to talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, comment down below if you want my oh, my take. I really want to talk about this. I don't even have a YouTube channel. Do you actually like, know what you want to talk about? I feel like I want to have a YouTube channel just to talk about this subject. Maybe it's because I like nearly died last week, so I've been watching like loads of rubbish, but genuinely interesting. It's quite, don't talk about. It. It's so, oh, can it's you so give good. them like a snippet of information <clears throat> of what you're going to talk about in your conspiracies? Like one or two things that you've got in mind. Ooh, ooh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. What's that from? Uh, Friends. Um, <laughs> if you talk about the Illuminati, do you die? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that one scares me <clears throat> a lot. I get scared so easy. I don't know, maybe something like that. Um, you're getting deep! I'm talking about Yetis being yeah. aliens and you're here like whipping out the Illuminati. Mm. Jeez. What I'll have to do is I'll have to do some proper research. You can make your list. Yeah. Or? Or? We could go really deep. I might already scared. Yeah, depending on if you want to. And talk about a subject which I am obsessed with. The West Memphis Three. <gasps> That's deep, the, deep though. Yeah, the guys, basically there were three men. Um, no, you can't tell them! Oh. You have to watch next no, time. No, no, no. Leave it! Oh. It's flashing, the battery's flashing! Oh, no! It's literally flashing, we need to say bye now. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this mukbang, mukbang, muk... Mukbang. Mukbang, Bang. whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we will see you soon for another one with Megan's picked choices of conspiracy Oh, it's going to be interesting. So interesting. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>